Hello again. So what are the storage provisioning types? We have two provisioning types when it comes to storage provisioning. We have the thick provisioning and the thin provisioning. Okay, so if you are already familiar with virtualization and virtual machine provisioning, then you may already have a good understanding of thin versus thick. But let's also have a look on the same topic from the SAN storage point of view. Okay, so what is a thin and thick? So the thick, it's called also the traditional storage provisioning. So for example, if you are provisioning or creating a LAN or volume on your SAN storage system with a 10 gigs of capacity, okay? So if you create it with a thick, mode or thick provisioning mode or, or or the traditional provisioning mode okay the entire space will be allocated from the physical disks of your sam or nas even storage system so once you create a volume 10, 10 sorry 10 gigabytes of storage will be reserved and allocated from the physical uh, disks, um, even if there are no data written to it. So even if the server that we'll be using, uh, that we will be mounting or mapping uh, this volume or LAN to, okay, even if it writes just a, a max of one gigabytes of data, okay, out of the 10, this will not eat only one gigabit of the physical storage. Instead, it's going to eat up to, or actually it's going to eat the entire 10 gigs right after the provisioning or the creation of the volume or the lab. Okay, okay. so let's go to the other tie, which is the thin storage provisioning mode. Okay, if you create your LAN or volume with the same capacity, 10 gigs, but this time using the provisioning mode thin, so the physical capacity, the physical allocation for this volume will be only zero kilobytes or at least only a few kilobytes less than one megabyte. So in this case, the volume of the LAN has two types of capacity, a logical capacity, which is the 10 gigs, okay, and the physical capacity, which is currently nothing. After mounting the volume of the LAN to a server, and then the server starts to write data to it, one gigabyte of data, for example. Okay, now the written data will be eating from the physical capacity. So if the server writes one gigabyte of data, then uh, one gigabyte of the physical uh, storage layer will be dedicated or allocated to that volume. But our operating system that is running on the server knows nothing about the thin or thick. It sees the volume or the mount uh, mapped or mounted to it with the full capacity, 10 gigs. So the advantage of thin provisioning is that it saves a lot of uh, this capacity. So it allows us to provision big bigger capacity than the physical capacity, which is called the overcommitment, okay? And it uses only the, uh, or it allocates only the used or the actual data size from the physical uh, storage layer, from the physical disks. Um, the thin provisioning has one, uh, to my understanding, it has, uh, or according to my experience, it has one big disadvantage that could cause a catastrophe. So when it comes to yeah the overcommitment, if you provision many many lands of volumes with logical sizes that are larger than the physical uh, capacity of the disks. If the servers write data uh, to these volumes and lands that 
weighs more than the actual physical capacity, then you will have an outage. The volumes will become offline, runs will become offline, and you can no longer uh, read or, or write in some cases, and you need you'll have to either to delete some volumes or runs, or you will have to add more physical capacity. But again, thin is a very thin provisioning is a very very great technology and. Me, myself, I use it as the default provisioning mode in, on the storage systems, but I always keep an eye on the overcommitment ratio and I always keep an eye on the actual usage to avoid uh, problems and outages. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, in the upcoming lectures, I will be discussing with you guys the most fun part in this course which is the block storage and the SAN fabrics. See you later. Goodbye.